Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hello, viewers. My name is Prophet Elisha K. Boatin, the senior pastor of Monte Movers Tapo International. I invite you to come to Monte Movers Tapo International and fellowship with us, and your life shall never, ever remain to be the same. God bless you for coming to fellowship with us. The Mountain Movers Chapel International invites you to our service times. Every Tuesday morning, Spirit-led 24-hour miracle service, a time of prayer, worship, and anointing for 24-hour miracle. Come and experience the same life-changing time in God's presence with Pastor and Mrs. Florence Opokubote. Praise the living God. You have cried for long. You have been in pain for long. You have sat on the wheelchair for long. It is time for you to receive your healing and 24 hours miracle that will change your life and transform you for good. Time 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Every Wednesday evening, pray through to breakthrough service, a time of prayer where we pray through to break through any resistance or demonic infrastructures and barriers. Come and empower and equip yourself for spiritual warfare with God's anointed servant and prophet for this generation, Prophet Elisha K. Bote. The Bible has made us to understand that we should pray without ceasing. Every prayerful believer is a powerful believer. Every prayerless believer is a powerless believer. Prayer is not just the preparation for the battle. Prayer is is the battle itself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Time, 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Every Friday night, Crossfire Night Vigil. Experience strategic and precise spiritual warfare as we spend time in God's presence throughout the night. Put on the whole armor of God. It is time for fight. It is time for war against the enemy for the works of the devil to come to an end it is about time you cross fire with the devil for the bible says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers of darkness wicked spirits in heaven and on earth therefore arise enough is enough, is enough. come and praise worship dance and feed on the undiluted word of god straight from god's throne room then engage the enemy in every area of your life through prayer with prophetic directions from God's servant, your prophet, Elisha K. Boateng. Time, 10 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. And on Sunday morning, two services as we go to the Holy Ghost Anointing Prophetic and Healing Service. First service from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And the second service is from 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. What are you waiting for? Come now to our services at the Mountain Movers Chapel International where we discover to recover all and your life will never remain to be the same. Venue, Tatlin House, 186 Warworth Road, London, SE17 1JJ. Take any bus from Elephant and Castle going towards Camberwell and Peckham. Get down at the Lacon bus stop. We are on the first floor of the McDonald's building. For further information, do call us on these numbers 0207 277 2133 or 0207 358 6169 or text 07585 906 533. Mountain Movers Chapel International. We discover to recover. God will do something new in your life. If you believe that, shout a loud amen. amen. Let's once again read from the same scripture we read from yesterday. Um, the same scripture, Genesis chapter 1, 26. And God said, let us make man in our own image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them and said, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, 
to you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth. Uh, um, um, pause there, and just go back, go back to the next verse you just finished before coming today. Verse 29. Yes. And God said, mm -hmm. Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Mm -hmm. Every herb bearing seed. Mm -hmm. Which is upon the face of all the earth. Mm -hmm. And every tree mm -hmm. in the which mm -hmm. is the fruit mm -hmm. of a tree yielding seed. Okay. To you it shall be for meat. Mm -hmm. Verse 30. And to every beast of the earth. Mm -hmm. And to every fowl of the air. And to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. Praise the Lord. Fruit is a part of a flowering plant. You see, he said, when the plant bear fruit, it flowers the plant. Amen and amen. Which means it decorates. Flower is for decoration. It decorates the plants. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. One thing I want to draw your attention on is. Don't forget Jesus when he was making an emphasis and description. Um, the, the, uh, he was describing human being. He, he, he made mention of he being the plant. Amen and amen. And we being the branches. Praise the Lord. So. In, to, to translate it to that point, you will see that the fruit decorates the plant. The fruit makes the plant meaningful, made it presentable, make it good. Am I making sense? Are you catching the revelation? So you are a fruit that also decorates and makes things presentable. Praise the Lord. Christ is the head of the church and he being the main plant and we being the branches, we make the church or we make Christ to be what? Decorated. We are the flower of the plant which Jesus is. Amen? We are the flower of the plant which Jesus That is why, you see, the that is why he created us in his own image, in his own likeness. Praise God. He created us in his own image, in his own likeness, for us to beautify him on this earth. We are God representative on this earth. So we beautify the plant of God. And don't forget yesterday I said something that God, what makes God God is the fruit he has bared. That is why when he has created everything, he saw that it is not good because he is in the form of the spirit. He is in form of spirit. And he cannot come and rule and tear ground in the spiritual body. Are you hearing me? So he created us in his image, in his likeness, and we flower or we are a decoration to what he has created onto this planet earth. That is, why, that is why when he has finished even creating everything, you see, as we read yesterday, in the verse number 28 of the chapter 1 of uh, Genesis, you see, he says something. Repeat there for me, 28. And verse 28. Uh -huh. And God blessed them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them. And God said, you know, he pronounced blessings on them. He said, look, you are to decorate. You are to make me presentable. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are to make me presentable. You are to make me. You, because you are my image, my likeness. So I want, if people see you, they will know who I am. that he said be fruitful so I want you also to produce and also makes things presentable amen and amen. amen 
I want you to also be productive. Be fruitful means to be productive. Praise be to God. God want, God want to see. God want to see he in you. And he want people to see him also in you. It's very, very important. Praise be to God. Fruit are very essential. They are very symbolic that one cannot ignore. They are, a symbol, they, are, they, are, they are authentic symbolics in our lives. You can identify a plant or a, a tree whether it is good or not by his fruits. Am I making sense? That is why it is important for you to understand. When Moses was making the law, he said, give your first fruit to God. That is your first production. Give it to God. Let Because in God, we are the fruits of God. So as you give your first fruits to God, you are exhibiting the, the beauty of God. You are reverencing God. You are acknowledging and you are appreciating him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And fruit as a symbolic is very important in our life. So when you see fruit, what should be in your mind is that God wants you to be like him. Amen and amen. amen. And then when you eat it, it is an a seed of God likeness you are depositing inside you. So after that, there must be, there must be a change, a reflection of God in you so that people will appreciate your God. Because a good tree is seen by his fruit. A good tree is seen by his fruit. It is important. Very important. And today by the special grace of God, as you eat this fruit, the Christ likeness and God image and the likeness of God is going to be deposited in you. And people are going to see you as yes, a woman of God, a man of God, a man that is that was created in the image of God. A woman that is created in the image, in the likeness of God. Eating fruit will make you to be attractive. It will make you good. You will look like, you will look like God. You will, you will look presentable. Praise the Lord. Jesus was going to Jericho to fulfill a prophecy. And he was with the disciples. They got to the middle of the road and Jesus felt hungry. You see? Jesus felt what? Hungry. And then he looked at far and he saw a fig tree. And the fig tree was what? Very beautiful. The fig tree. The tree looked because the tree has flourished. Has branches. Has good leaves. So it was very, very beautiful, very presentable to the eye of man. So if a, a tree eh, or a fig tree was able to attract even Christ himself, it means you have somebody very important when we talk of fruit. You have to be attractive. You have to be presentable. And the, the saddest part of it is, Jesus said, disciples, come on, then now run to the tree. And then get me a fruit. Get me something for me to eat. Not, Jesus did not send them to go and cut the branch, the tree, for him to chop the tree. We don't eat the branches. We eat fruits. So eating of fruit is very important. It's vital. Abundantly above all, all you can ask for. You can be very beautiful. You 
can be very handsome, you can be very attractive, but if there is no fruitfulness in you, you are nothing. So, that is why Jesus said, Be fruitful. Many of us have lost our love with God, and God, we are no more even attractive to God again. But eating of this fruit will refresh us. When it refreshes us, it will bring us back to our original creative image of God and then we will be attractive to God and God will enjoy us The inspirational gospel music for this season is finally here. The maiden album of Pastor Florence Apoku including the hit single I Can Do It also including no, 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 Oka no, Jesus, no, 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 A Rise and Shine. Go get your copy now. Available in selected stores nationwide, including Kamasi Market, South London, Big Daddy, North London, We You See Music and Services, East London, Money Matters, East London. For bulk purchase and other info, call plus 440-720-7277-2133, plus 440-7585-906-533, plus 440-7572-620-402 or Mountain Movers Chapel International, Chatelain House, 186 Walworth Road, London, SE 17 1JJ. I Can Do It by Pastor Florence Apoku. Go grab your copy. Come now to our services at the Mountain Movers Chapel International, where we discover to recover all, and your life will never remain to be the same. Venue, Chatelain House, 186 Walworth Road, London, SE 17 1JJ. Take any bus from Elephant and Castle going towards Camberwell and Peckham. Get down at the Lacombe bus stop. We are on the first floor of the McDonald's building. For further information, do call us on these numbers 0207 277 2133 or 0207 358 6169 or text 07585 906 533. Mountain Movers Chapel International. We discover to recover. Jesus said to the disciples, go and get me fruit. They ran to the, fruit, the, the tree. They get there. The tree was very good, but it has not bear any fruit. They, come, they came back to Jesus and said, Master, <laughs> do you know, surprisingly, that good tree you see has been no fruit. Jesus said, what, what are you talking about? You mean that presentable tree there has no fruit? So, so a tree is, 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 is presentable. But if it refuses to bear fruit, it's of no use to man. Mm. You can be very beautiful. You can be very wholesome. You can be very attractive. But if there is no fruitfulness in you, you are nothing. So, that is why Jesus said, be fruitful. He said, be, you see, that was the spoken word. That was the first word. The capacity of God is to, is to see you, you bearing fruit. He went there. They came. They said, no fruit. He said, what? That tree, out of curiosity of anger. You know, Jesus just said, I curse that tree. So, lack of bearing fruit is what? It's a curse. Lack of you bearing fruit is a curse. Fruit is important. And we are using this fruit as a point of contact. And we will eat it. And it will become part. It will refresh us. Our mind and our body and draw us back to God. Make us to be attractive again to God for God to love us. Hey. Many of us have lost our love with God. And God, we are no more even attractive to God again. But eating of this fruit will refresh us. When it refresh us, it will bring us back to our original creative image of God. And then we will be attractive to God and God will enjoy us.
Jesus for a reason God is not enjoying you again but tonight and tomorrow I declare to somebody sitting under the sound of my voice and hearing the sound of my voice that as you eat this food today you are going to be attractive again God is going to love you again God is going to like you again God is going to draw you closer But listen, don't look attractive without bearing fruit. But look attractive whilst bearing fruit. And Jesus pronounced curse on the tree. And did you know what he did? Jesus foresaw that there is an evil sentiment. There is an, a demonic, satanic something happening to that tree. The tree originality, the tree has, the tree has, the tree, the fruit tree has lost its potentials. It has lost its variety. It has lost its um, 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 respect and virtue. Are you hearing me? So he said, no, something is wrong. This, the enemy is at work. Therefore, Jesus opened his mouth. When he was cursing the tree, he said, curse be unto the tree. From the root cause. Say the root cause. Say the root cause. He said, Cast be unto the tree from the root cause. Because Jesus did not just look at the physical point again, but he diagnosed to the origin. And he got to know that the origin of the tree is not good. And the cause of that is satanic influence. So he said, Cast be unto the tree from its root cause. Anything that happened to the tree, for the tree not to bear fruit, but is looking attractive, I cast that cause. I cast that cause. I cast that foundation. I destroy that foundation. Any foundation your mother family is built on, which is not of God. Any foundation which your mother, your father, your life is built on and is not of God. By the power and the virtue in the blood of Jesus, I cast the root. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus said, every plant my heavenly father has not planted shall be uproot from the root class. My goodness. From the day you were born, there has not been any profit of you. People look at you and say, oh, yes, that lady, oh, she is beautiful, but she is bearing no fruit. That man, he is very beautiful, but he's not, be he's not bearing any fruit. So, you see, people know who you are. You think they don't know you. You think it is makeup that will make people to, uh, to, for you to be attractive. No, it's not makeup. It is what you carry. And the photosynthesis, you know, which you connect to. If you connect to a, 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 a natural photosynthesis, you, nothing good can come out of you. When a tree loses its virtue of a photosynthesis, then you can see the tree growing, but it doesn't bear fruit. Because the energy point of a tree is when it receives the photosynthesis, it, 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 it generates and it makes the tree to look very good and also bear fruit. Whatever that is causing you not to bear fruit, but you look beautiful, you look handsome, but you are bearing no fruit today. Holy God, fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. My goodness, <laughs> another preaching is going on somewhere. They say you are fine, beautiful, but no husband. You have you seen that thing? Many women, very beautiful. She can give you all the 39 steps in the world. <laughs> you see, right now I have just changed three years. <laughs> Am I making sense? So when we are doing things like this, we say fruit festival. 
Somebody, what came into his mind is that money. Maybe they are looking for money. What is fruit? If it is fruit, then I will go to shop and buy it and eat. I will go to shop and get it and eat. Huh? Buying fruit at the shop and eat doesn't bring any transformation in your life. Because blessing is not pronounced in store. Blessing is pronounced in the house of God. And the source of blessing is what? Multiplication is fruitfulness. When we pronounce blessing, we have pronounced fruitfulness over you. Are you hearing me? So if you go to shop and buy the fruit in shop without any ordained, consecrated good man of God pronouncing blessings over it, it's of no effect. That is why he started by the end of the, the beginning of Genesis chapter 128. He says, God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful. Let me tell you, it is blessing that bring fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Open with me, my daughter, to the book of Psalm. Psalm 1, Psalm number 1. Let's get there, Psalm number 1. Psalm number 1. He says what? Psalm 1. Uh-huh. Blessed is the man that blessed walketh, is the man that, that walketh, walketh not in the in the counsel of the ungodly. Walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor standeth in the way nor, of sinners. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. Nor seated in the seat of so the scornful. So if you go to the shop and fruit is there, and you just go and take it and eat, and you think you will be blessed, did you know that place? That place is described as a place of unsinners. So nothing good happens there. It's a Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you viewers for watching this powerful prophetic atmosphere program. I hope you are blessed by what you have seen and I'm inviting you to come and fellowship with Mountain Movers Chapel International. It's a place where we discover to recover. And it is also a place that where we believe moving every mountain because we believe that beyond every mountain there is a land. Beloved, as you come, every mountain before you shall become a playing ground. And I welcome you as you come to Mountain Movers Chapel International. Your life shall never remain to be the same. God richly bless you. Meet you same time next week. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. The inspirational gospel music for this season is finally here. The maiden album of Pastor Florence Apoku. Including the hit single, I Can Do It. Also including Oga Jesus, A Rise and Shine. Go get your copy now. Available in selected stores nationwide, including Kamasi Market, South London, Big Daddy, North London, We You See Music and Services, East London, Money Matters, East London. For bulk purchase and other info, call plus 440-0207277-2133, plus 440-7585-906-533, plus 440-7572-620-402, or Mountain Movers Chapel International, Chatelain House, 186 Walworth Road, London, SE 17 1JJ. I can do it by Pastor Florence Apoku. Go grab your copy. Come now to our services at the Mountain Movers Chapel International where we discover to recover all and your life will never remain to be the same. Venue, Tatlin House, 186 Warworth Road, London, SE17 1JJ. Take any bus from Elephant and Castle going towards Camberwall and Peckham. Get down at the Lacombe bus stop. We are on the first floor of the McDonald's building. For further information, do call us on these numbers 0207 277 2133 or 0207 358 6169 or text 07585 906 533. Mountain Movers Chapel International. We discover to recover.